Streams like me. No, please, please don't. Oh, this looks like a spicy one. Good luck. And thank you. <laughs> what up, shuts wolf? Oh, I wish it was longer. I wish it was longer for you. Sorry, I had to destroy him. <laughs> So I'll explain to you the build. Yeah, that was um, Sewer Mermaid 101 PV CVP. The dirty. <clears throat> so I was doing the Probius a lot of times, right? With Protoss as a Probius with the worker stack. And um, when I started playing Zerg, I've been trying to figure out how to do that and apply that to Zerg. So 
I had this build with Protoss where I would go in with two workers and then switch off and then pair out. So I said, oh, I can do that with Zerg. So I learned how to do that tactic. So the way that this works is that uh, we're making some workers, two workers and an overlord, you know, just get that income, make sure that the income's there. And then um, we're going to need the gas anyways. So because uh, we're going to need it for the for the burrow. So because we need it for the burrow upgrade, we get the gas early. And when we get the gas, we send two drones out. So what we do is we grab two drones and we right click it on the gas. And we make sure that they line up. If they line up well, you leave it like that and you right click it on their mineral. It has to be right clicked on their mineral in order to, for them to stay together. Um, that's the secret trick. And um, if they don't line up, you cl you right click it on the mineral and then right click it back on the gas and they'll line up themselves. But since I um, since they lined up by themselves, I didn't have to click on the mineral and then the gas again. So they stacked, we grab them, and we right click them to their base on the mineral. Mineral to mineral. They can't walk on the ground, it has to be mineral. So now that we do that, we got a gas that's going up. And we're going to get uh, more drones, right? We keep making more drones because the drones are what we need. And then we get a pool. Now that we got a pool, we're going to need gas. Why do we need gas early? Because we're going for a burrow upgrade build. So we're going for burrow. So here we got the drones. He's over here going, oh, what are you doing? There's no hatchery first. Are you going for a pool? And then we see a pool, so that looks normal to a Zerg player. Oh, okay, pool, pool first. You want to go and rush my main base, so I'm going to make sure I defend that in the front. Make sure you can't uh, come in with those lings. So that's the goal for them. So during this time, the probe's over here doing a little round uh, scouting. And in my drones, I have two of them. They look like one, so if he's looking at it real quick, like, okay, there's a drone scouting or something. And um, if we look at his vision, right, if we look at his vision, let, let's see. Let's see. There goes the drone. There it goes. There it goes. That looks normal to you because it is normal. He came in. He get in, there. There was no time to do any weird stuff. He went straight to my base. What happens here is you get the split. And so if he sees one dot on the mini map, well, that makes sense. If he looks over here and says, "Okay, there's a drone here," and he's gonna check over here and see if it leaves. The split off allows you to go and make a hatchery and hide it. So because it's hiding it, this drone right here has to create a diversion. Like, hey, I'm right here. If you didn't look at me earlier, look at me now. I'm right here. You want to make sure they look at that drone and go, oh, that's a drone. Or there is a drone. There's one drone. Usually there's no two drones. It's always one drone, if anything. And so you're like nibble like, hey, I'm right here. You, you, you're... Or, well, your your units are under attack, or so we're trying to ring that bell. You're under attack. You're under attack. <laughs> They're like, what the shit? Oh, it's a probe. Okay. He's like, oh, let me. You know, now I know he, he sees me. He's like, notice me, senpai. So I get over here, and you want to like technically want to act like you're you're trying to like block this base but it's too late he made a hatchery so that didn't i mean he made a nexus so that didn't work right technically so i'm nibbling on this going hey i wanted to take that <laughs> nibble 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 uh because i want him to know hey i'm right here still i don't want you to think that your your word is this drone did he go make a hatchery let me go scout it no you so you always want to draw the attention by attacking something so it's like okay well there goes that pesky ass drone uh, because if he's going somewhere else, he wants to kind of come back and know where it's at, or he's going to look here. Remember that? 
It's going to be like, where's the drone? Let me check. Over. Oh, there. if he misses it, so you want to attack. He'll know where it's at when you attack. So he's over here trying to set up a wall. And we get 100 gas. And with the 100 gas, right when we get it, we go for burrow. Upgrade. And then uh, from there, we get the Roach Warren. Or mind you, we're at 11 workers. So remember that number because you can't get to 16 workers and try to do the Roach Warren. It won't be in time. So you want to do 11 and then you start droning up. So just make sure Burrow. After Burrow, you go Roaches. So here comes the probe. The probe's like, oh, what are you doing over here? Get out of here. And uh, mind you, I'm not going this direction. I'm going up and down here. I don't want to go over here because he'll spot it maybe. Alright, so now he... I got the luxury that the probe is not following me no more. So we make a spine crawler, right? And that spine crawler is going to be able to do some damage. We start making roaches. If we look at our upgrades, our burrow is going to come up about the same time our roach comes up. So look. Roach comes up. We're already upgraded. So now we could burrow at this point. We don't have to worry about, oh, I need a, I need to upgrade it. Oh, it's almost done, but, you know, so it's already done. And uh, we're making the queen. We're making spine crawler. We're going to go over here, burrow. So I burrowed it right there, and then I'm over here bringing some over here. Burrow, so I can unburrow it afterwards. And... Transfer the spine crawler where I can start nibbling on this base. I know he wants to just start transferring over here. So we're going to have to deal with that. Once we get a few more roaches. We're going to spread the creep that way. And we have burrow. Burrow upgrade. So we can harass down here for a while with burrow upgrade. If he has a cannon here we have to go from the back side and then just keep. Burrowing, I'm burrow, burrow, I'm burrow. Uh, if he's still trying to stay alive, then you make a hatchery from right here, from here on out. And then whatever he does, some weird stuff, then, you know, we can handle it. But you want to make a hatchery at this point once you get, you know, enough resources. Unless you can taste the blood in the water. Yeah. Pay counts to your force field build. The force field build? Force field build? Oh, you're talking about Terran? Terran versus Terran versus um, Protoss? Where I force field the choke? It's a nasty one. Definitely a nasty one. Um, you, you can do some dirty stuff with it.